our first myth today is truly legendary. And as of late, for some reason, I've been getting a number of emails about it. So let's look into the claim that the great James Brown used a complex series of hand signals to keep his band in check and later to find them. This folks is absolutely 100% true. And you can see it being done live if you watch the videos of him that are on the internet. Most of the gestures had to do with changing time signatures mid song. And when you look at his band, the JBs, they remain one of the greatest bands in all of music history. But along with using the hand signals to keep the band together, he'd also be able to hear when a band member would miss a note, and he would use this to keep track of things and find them after the show. So be sure to keep a keen eye on the hands of the Godfather of Soul, or you're gonna pay. Literally. The second myth I'm going to explore today involves none other than Lady Gaga and the claim that she demands live hedgehogs in her backstage rider. Now we've all learned the last half decade or so that Lady Gaga is a few buckets full of crazy and artists are known for their outrageous backstage rider demands. But come on folks, this one doesn't make any sense on any level whatsoever. Except of course for the fact that it is completely true and it came out when one of her promoters leaked her backstage rider documents in 2010. Along with the usual assortment of drinks and food and flowers backstage, the writer explicitly states that there have to be two live baby hedgehogs at every show. I have absolutely no idea why on this one, but the presence of it in her tour writer is absolutely true. Our final myth today goes back to the king himself, and it's the story that says at a concert, Elvis Presley actually gave one of his fans in the audience a ring worth almost $7,000. As his career wore on, the stage antics of Elvis got stranger and stranger, and like a number of odd stories, this one is completely true. This one happened in 1975 at a show in Virginia as Elvis's career was getting really bad. He was particularly wasted at this show and he also tossed his guitar on the stage before taking a ring off and handing it to a member of the audience. Strangely enough, this was also the show where his backup singers walked off stage in the middle of the set, but we've discussed that already. So yeah, there's somebody out there who got a truly great gift for having great seats to see Elvis. So those are the myths for this week. Be sure to check back here every Thursday as I delve into some of the coolest stories in music history and be here every day for all the music news, reviews, and knowledge you'll ever need. Hey!